Hey guys, Justin from Simplified Investing. This is our weekly market breakdown video, also highlighting a few stocks we are watching this week. Hope you guys enjoy. So getting things started, going to be breaking down SPY here, and we've really had a lot of strength here on this one lately. Honestly, not the follow through I expected to see on Friday. We gapped up here off of this uh, buy setup here or bullish bar, bullish engulfing, nice form of highs. Follow through inside bar, nice higher high here, breaking this con or consolidation or this curling pattern. And then we get a gap up formed into 52 week highs here. Now, we pretty much held above 52 week highs all day up until like the last two minutes into the close, three minutes into the close here. So, really, watching this prior level here at 443.58. So the last thing you'd want to see is something where it, it comes here, but then all of a sudden it forms a bearish engulfing and fills this gap back down into 438. Confirmation for me would be either a break above and then a retest back and hold here or a continuation higher on a strong bullish bar to hold through. Then I would watch it for continuation. Now, very strong market, definitely uh, not, again, like I said, the follow through I was expecting, but you can see subsequent pullbacks getting bought up. We had this pullback after this climatic move here in this inside bar on volume, pretty much from 443 down to 431, and we recovered that in four days. So extreme strength here, what looked like a very bearish inverted hammer here, completely engulfed, pushing all the way back to the upside here. Now, Looking at this weekly chart here, this is a glitch, by the way, to this top wick here. Looking at this, how you can see it is an inside bar or a, an expansion bar into this inside bar. We shaked out these weak shorts here. So you can see a lot of people probably after this climatic move here on high volume, after this inside bar, setting their stops below this weekly candle or shorting below this weekly candle, I should say. We take these shorts, trap these shorts, and then stuff this higher into a bullish engulfing outside bar here. As for next areas to touch, up into like this, this 457 area, 460 area is huge. You can see reject, reject, reject. We do need to hold over that 4, uh, 43.58 area first for that continuation move higher to the upside. Again, do not want to see a bearish engulfing and form this double top here to the downside. Now, one thing too to test on is the VIX just can't, still can't seem to rally. This 15 area, if we get any strength on the VIX, expecting a reject here still. Very, very strong selling pressure here on this one. You can see any uh, downside push, reject, downside push, reject here. Getting into oversold territory, but any bounces, watching that 15 reject. Now, one thing I want to note too is let's take a look at the, actually let's do IWM. Small caps here. They have been a laggard here as of late. I, I like this recovery here. Do not like this uh, this bearish bar at 188. But if we do clear this, room up into 192 area above this, into like this 195.37 area. I had a request on Instagram to break down IWM, and there it is. So QQQ also, not at 52-week highs, but attempting. This is a lot better of a gap here. And really why is, is so you, when you get a gap like this, you can think of it like this way. This gap up here, what did a lot of people do in the last session or a lot of people shorted it uh, clearly in the last session we closed red there's more sellers than buyers gap up here these shorts are going to be trapped if they had their stop loss above this prior candle high up here as they cover it adds to the upside move off the open you can see we get this nice strength here a lot of shorts likely covering from the night before and some data to support this upside move here. QQQ, very, very strong. Holds 370, then into 372, 375, 380 overhead. Also a very strong outside bar here uh, in pretty much a bullish engulfing weekly. Trap shorts below, stuff this higher. Now let's break out over this region here at 370 for this move up into this 380 zone, which is the next level to keep on watch. There's a few individual names I wanted to mention, and, and the first one being Tesla. 
Interesting weekly chart here. A, a lot of shorts likely hopped in after this uh, doji bar here at prior resistance. You can see what happens here is, okay, what we did here is we trapped below this candle low. So let's say, for example, some longs had their stops below here, trapped this, and then immediately stuffed this higher. And when this gets close up here, shorts are likely going to be trapped, can help break this and push this higher up into that 280 region here. The ideal setup would be a move over this weekly candle high, which is right around 265. Watching that for that continuation higher, basically a curling move here in this uptrend move for this push higher room up into like that 280 above that up here into like 288.50. So very strong move, definitely one I'm going to be keeping on watch. CCL, one that we traded this week actually here on 627, a very strong move, not very good premiums. They, they, they're very cheap premiums, lots of commission, and they don't move that great with the underlying necessarily. We get this gap down, uh, trapping uh, those shorts right here, filling this gap off of earnings, on 627, strong follow through day, inside bar, strong follow through day here, making 52 week highs. Now from the weekly chart, still obviously well off those highs back here before COVID or, or after COVID, excuse me, during these times right here in 2021. Wick out, test this prior gap region here at 1388 to 14. Nice strength to the upside here and follow through. Want to see a continuation over, let, let's see what Friday's high was, over 1888 for a big test into the psych level around like 20 to 2010. Very key prior region, you can see resistance turns support, 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 resistance, so on and so forth. Expecting a lot of re resistance up here into this 20 area if we do test it, but want to see a strength move above Friday's candle high for that continuation move higher. With that being said, that wraps up our watch list video. If you did enjoy this video, if you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are interested in getting our course alerts and more, feel free to check out simplified-investing.com today. We would love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys all have a great weekend and see you guys all on Monday. Thank you.